She is an extension of me. As I learn her, I learn to love me. I love how her texture feels against my fingertips as I twist. I love how her presence fills the room. My understanding of her is a constant journey that has taught me that love is consistent and takes work, but her growth is a physical reminder of my own. What's good? It's your girl Liz and we're back with another video. How y'all feeling today? I'm feeling crusty. Like my hair is dry. It's we're well overdue for a wash and condition so i can't be doing that now that my hair is dyed but here we are so if you guys want to see my hair routine um i'm just gonna do like a twist out that's what i usually do then stay tuned i'll also be using mostly mostly mia products let's get into it okay so the reason that I said mostly Miel products is because I'm doing an Indian Healing Clay um, ACV like mask in my hair first and that's not Miel so we're starting with this. So I'll list some of the benefits of this hair mask but I've just found that my hair really likes them and it's not drying so that's why i'm doing it um i think that i usually use one part clay one part apple cider vinegar this is the clay that i'm using and i like to use apple cider vinegar with the mother key that's key okay so for this process gonna start with damp hair so i went ahead and wet my hair i'm gonna go ahead and section into four sections I take a section like this and I make sure it's wet. And then I go ahead and I detangle it with a wide tooth comb. Then I grab my mask and work it in, starting at the end. Just gonna let that sit or 30 minutes to an hour. Yeah, and we'll be back. All right, so I'm back. It's been about an hour. I'm about to rinse this out. I'm gonna be real. I do not have the energy to do my hair right now, but I guess I'm gonna push through. Like, what other choice do I have? <laughs> I'll see y'all once I rinse this out. All right, so we're back. I went ahead and rinsed that out. And, ooh, okay. This is what we're looking like. So I'm gonna go ahead, ooh, she's soft. I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair into four sections. You know the drill. Now that that's done. So we're finally getting into the Miel products. So it's really important to deep condition your hair, especially after that mask and my hair is colored, bleached. She needs to be deep conditioned. So I'm using the Miel Babasu, is that how you say that? Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner. So this conditioner claims to be a protein slash moisture replenisher for dry and damaged hair to restore protein and balance for moisture and growth. And it's actually not too thick. Can y'all see this? It's like... Yeah, it's not that thick, but it gets the job done. <laughs> I'm gonna come back when I have less hair to do. I have it on the majority of my hair, but we gotta do this last little section right here. Like any products, I'm starting with my ends and then making sure it's covering every strand in this section. Okay. Now I'm taking this dimming brush and detangling, starting at the ends. I'm actually considering switching up my routine and getting a new brush because I've been seeing those brushes that um, have like, okay, they like move with your hair. I'll insert a picture, but there's a bunch of different brands and I'm not sure which one to get, but once I do, I'll let y'all know. Okay. 
And now I'm gonna use this plastic bag. Give me 30 minutes and I'll be back. So we are done with the washing and conditioning process. And now I'm gonna move on to styling. Um, let's see what my hair feels like actually. Ooh, ooh, she soft. She sucks. I let the deep conditioner sit for about 30 minutes, then I rinsed it with cool water. And now I'm going to section into four parts and start my twist out. But I'm gonna come back when I'm on the last section. All right, y'all, we are back. We're almost done. I just have this section to go. I do like the retwist, I think. All right, so the products I'm using, I do the LOC method, I wanna say. Yeah, LOC, so I start with leave-in conditioner. I'm using the Pomegranate Honey Leave-in Conditioner. This claims to be a moisturizing curl primer and detangler for thick, curly type four hair. I'm also using the Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. This claims to be for daily use, scalp treatment, and split in care. I'm using this ooh, Twisting Souffle Pomegranate Honey again. And this is the line for type four hair. So that's why I, I, I like this one a lot. This um, collection, there we go. <laughs> By the time it's to the last section, my hair is dry. So I'm gonna just dampen that again. Okay, then I take the leave-in conditioner, make sure it's on my ends. And then also apply that all over. Make sure it's on every strand. Then I take the oil and it comes in like a dropper like this. And I put a drop in my roots and a drop on my ends. And then I work that like through the hair, if that makes sense. And then I go ahead and take the twisting custard, which this is like, can you see that? This is like the consistency. It's pretty thick. It's pretty thick. Then I start that on my ends. And put all over the hair. I take a dimming brush and start at the, the ends, not the roots. <laughs> and I just comb all that product through that's what it looks like my curls popping and then i just two strand twist it in whatever direction that i feel like will be best in the twist out and then i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on these last two twists So we're done. Um, honestly, I think the recipe for a good twist out is making sure your hair is wet when you start. Um, so you may have to use a spray bottle by the time you get to those last twists. Um, making sure that your hair is moisturized. So starting with a leave-in conditioner and an oil. Make sure you put the oil on after the leave-in conditioner because oil is a sealant, so it's gonna seal in whatever it was before. So if it's moisturized, it's gonna seal in moisture. If it was not moisturized, you seal in in dryness, sis. So make sure you use a leave-in conditioner before your oil. And then I would say the products that you're using pretty much, um, and then how you take it out. But we're gonna do that tomorrow. I'm gonna go to bed, cause it's 2 a.m. <laughs> I look cute, what y'all think? Don't lie, you know I look cute. Okay, I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. What's good, y'all? It's actually two days later, but that's fine. I left them in because I was feeling very lazy. Um, but that's the bright side of quarantine. I don't have to really do my hair because where am I going? But I just took a shower. One thing I do like to do, especially if it's been a while um, in between, like when I take my twists out, 
Um, I like to use the steam in the shower as like a steamer because steaming your hair is like really good for it. It helps it be moisturized. So that's what I did. I like to take off my scarf or my bonnet in the shower and let my hair just soak it all in. But we're about to take these out. Okay, so I've taken out most of them, but I'm going to show y'all what I've been doing. So the product I'm using is the Pomegranate Honey Curl Smoothie. And this claims to enhance curls with soft definition and is for thick, curly, type 4 hair. So this is basically just like a daily moisturizer to me. In some ways, it's defining, but it's, it's really not. A defining product it just adds more moisture my hair gets dry so quickly and type 4 hair in general dries out really quickly um so i use this when i take my twists out so that it's still moisturized but i take a little bit of the product maybe this much and i just like put that on the twist and i start at the end and i just take that apart and then I like volume, so I'll go ahead and like pull those two strands apart as well. And I'm gonna just repeat that. It looks a little crazy right now, but it's okay. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna we're gonna pick it out. So basically, once they're all out, I just pull it out some first just to lift my roots and give more volume and shape. I like to pull in opposite directions. That also gives the effect. Okay, once I've picked it with my hand some, I take a pick and I pull out, I pull it out and I go with the roots and just push it out just to stretch it some. Okay, and once it's the volume I like, I'm gonna go ahead and just shape it with my hands. But yes, this is my twist out. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I just wanna talk about how I came to love my hair because I didn't always feel this way about my hair, but I've definitely come a long way understanding what it takes to take care of my hair and what's going to help it stay moisturized and grow. And I just, this video was basically a love letter to my hair and just the journey that I've been on. My next stage in my journey will be learning how to keep my hair healthy and moisturized now that it's been dyed and bleached. So stick around and y'all will see me figure all that out. But I've definitely come very far. I love my hair so much. Um, and before you go, here's a clip of how I maintain my twist out. So what I do at night. So basically to keep my hair moisturized and stretched. Because if I go to sleep with my bonnet or my scarf, my hair will shrink. I just do these jumbo twists. So I take about like this much. I'm using the curl smoothie again. Put it on my ends, all on the hair. And I just twist that. Okay, and once I have all my twists, I'm gonna take the rosemary mint scalp and hair oil. And I'm gonna just put that on my scalp. And I just like massage, dang, can I talk? <laughs> I massage that into my scalp and my hair and there we go <laughs> I look crazy but this is really my key to getting my hair to stretch as my twist out gets older I like my hair to be big and as the days go by it gets bigger because I do this so I might look a little crazy but I'm just trying to be transparent I'm trying to keep it real but yes this is how <laughs> I um, do my hair at night. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was informative or helped you in any type of way. Um, I hope that my love letter to my hair will help you to appreciate the hair that grows out of your head even more. And I will see you guys in my next video.